Now, next important thing is which you need to understand is uh, a finite automata. If I consider a finite automata, then this finite automata has two types. Okay, first is non deterministic finite automata, and second is deterministic finite automata. Okay, if you look at non deterministic finite automata, it allows allows epsilon transitions okay or it can we can say it allows allows uh, epsilon states uh, it must uh, uh, it must uh, satisfy uh, fa properties hmm? Okay, uh, it may satisfy FA properties. It means what? It must have start state. Okay, it must have intermediate states. Uh, uh, depending upon on it, uh, uh, you can have. It must have uh, final or uh, accepting states. Okay, it must have final or accepting state. Apart from that, this must have what? Transition function. Okay. Uh, then, most importantly, this must take uh, regular expression as input. So this has to work with regular expression as input. Okay, so this, this takes, NFA takes, DFA takes, uh, NFA as input. Okay, which means that a uh, regular expression cannot be supplied to deterministic finite automata directly. What you need is non-deterministic finite automata as input. Okay. Then the next important thing is uh, this comes directly here. That it's uh, it must satisfy. It must uh, satisfy all properties. Properties of what fa it must satisfy all properties of fa and those properties are here itself okay uh, so so and uh, when you are uh, converting uh, non deterministic finite automata to a deterministic finite automata you have to go for uh, subset generations you need to go for uh, subsets uh, um, subset uh, uh, generation and compaction, generation and compactions. So me, means what we can uh, use this one. Okay. Now, in case uh, in in both of the case, a transition table is defined. Huh? Transition table is prepared in both in finite automata also and in this uh, a transition table. I we need to prepare. So now ultimate Abhi, uh, now the question is that what exactly the transition table? Okay, so uh, this is what this is a representation. Uh, this is representation of the transition function. Okay, this is representation of transition function. So uh, usually this tran this transition table contains uh, uh, two segments here. Uh, say for example here uh, A, B. Uh, these are nothing but uh, input symbols, uh, and these input symbols are particularly taken from uh, your set called sigma. Okay, and here say this is uh, 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 zero, one. And two, okay, zero, one, and two. So these are what these are called as states. Okay, so simple. Uh, you have a, a, tra a transition table as a state with input symbols. So you have to look at here now. Just for understanding purpose, let us try to have a simple uh, expression. L is based on state of symbols uh, A, B. And being defined by regular expression, say A, B, B. So you have got a, a representation, something like this. So which we uh, further uh, modify, but for the sake of understanding this 
transition table will uh, uh, take this the same example. So this is we will say with zero. This is one. This is two, and this is three. And what we have applied, we have applied a transition function, and it is being written something like this: uh, delta zero comma a. Uh, it gives me one. Uh, delta one comma b. It gives me two. Uh, delta uh, two comma b. It gives me three. Whereas, whereas uh, uh, delta zero comma b, you cannot proceed. Delta one comma a, you cannot proceed. Delta two comma a, you cannot proceed. Why we are saying that you cannot proceed? Because that input symbol is not applied on the steps. So how will you determine this simple case? Just look at here. Look at the weight that the age is being carried. So say from moving from one to two, you need to apply B weight. From two to three, you need to apply B weight. But from zero to one, you have to apply uh, A weight. So here you cannot means you can proceed from zero to one if and only if A is applied. You can move from one to two only if B is applied. You can move from two to three only if B is applied. So which means that. For this particular purpose, uh, for this particular input symbol, you don't have a target states. So it is like this. So now you have got these states. So see, when I say zero with the with the input fun input uh, symbol a, the transition function is giving me output as one. With zero with this b, I don't have any state. With one with a input, I don't have any state. But with one and b. I am going to have two. So just look at here. This is one, one, two, and this two with the b. That means two with b. I am going going for three. So this is how a transition table is being uh, maintained. Okay. So this 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 will let you uh, help you understand how exactly.